Hi, in this video I'll show you how to do space repetition in Kana using a template. So we're going to install that template and we see here some instructions. So the idea is if I have a question like how long ago was the attack of Dan? How long time ago? And of course you can use AI to generate these questions, you can do all kinds of stuff. These can be anywhere in your graph. And I add the SR tag. You see here, it gets a hidden field that just keeps the metadata. You don't really need to open that. It gets these buttons. And um, we can then click one of them. So we can say, you know, for example, uh, we want to practice this right away. And behind the scenes, you see that this gets updated. It keeps the date and also some difficulty rating. So let's do another one. Um, how many planets are there? And we're going to say that's easy, so we'll put it in the future. And then we can see these search notes here. Currently view items. That's going to show how long ago Cleopatra was born, because we asked for that. We can expand it to see the answer. And then if we know it, we can push it through the future. Future items shows us some examples here. And then the two that I just added. And that's it. So every day you just go in, check your view items. Uh, you might not work through them all. It's going to capture all the ones that are overdue as well. Um, Four is easy, good, difficult again. And so if I do it again here, you see that I pop it back into today. You can also add custom keyboard shortcuts. So what I can do is I can do, let's say, um, where is uh, Kabul? It's in uh, Afghanistan. And then you see here that we get one and the emoji looks kind of weird. But if I now do command shift K, I can set command 1 as the keyboard shortcut. And now, the next time, you see there's no tag here. But if I press command shift 1, it adds the tag and it automatically calculates that it should be repeated today. And so you can do the same for 2, 3, and 4. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That should be all you need to set up a spaced repetition workflow. And remember, spaced repetition can be used not only for um, these kind of questions that you want to repeat, but also for tasks that you want to kind of throw into the future, um, for uh, spaced inquiry, like questions you were thinking about and you just wanted to pop into your daily note one day in the future. You could obviously put this search on your daily note. So yeah, have fun with it.